I'm Kate Hahn with TV Insider, and I'm speaking with the cast of The Serpent Queen. I pray for their souls. As I pray for yours. I'm grateful. Though, it might feel better to get your own back every once in a while. Samantha Morton, thank you for joining us. Well, nice to talk to you, Kate. Hello. Hi, so so you play Catherine de' Medici and what a life she had. She rose from an orphan girl in Italy to the queen of France. What allowed her, what characteristics did she have that allowed her to make that journey? I think ultimately, obviously you have, the, the story starts as much as it can at the beginning. So you're, the audience is able to see, or without giving away any spoilers, all the things that happened to her through no fault of her own. Her, you know, the circumstance of birth, what then when she was moved and where she'd lived and why she lived in those places. And ultimately when she's younger, it is about survival and learning. You know, she spoke many languages. She was an incredible mathematician. She was an astronomer, astrologer. She was extraordinary. And through being at the convents, she learned a huge amount from other women, other very powerful, knowledgeable women. So she was surrounded by women growing up. Um, and then you have the latter part, you know, the show, we have the, the youth of her and then the falling in love with Henry and then moving into everybody wants her dead, pretty much. You know, there's a reason for everybody to want her to be gone. She finds her calling, um, something she's good at, where she's meant to be. And so often in life, women are, so, you know, even then were told to look pretty and stand in the corner and have some babies. Then at a certain age, probably 18 or 19, you're not worth looking at anymore. You know, you're done. You're in the, you know, you just go and play cards somewhere else. Thank you very much. You know, or for other women, you've worked till you died. You worked on the farm, you you know, looking after the family. It's It's never been kind of an easy time for women. So I think, the, you know, to characterize her, she was extraordinary. And this is based on a true story. So I find it absolutely fascinating and compelling that this was based on a true story. Right. Well, she, you know, she, as you mentioned, she married Henry. Uh, she was sent to France um, sort of with a dowry and a lot of promises to the French court. And she married Henry and she says in the series, you know, I made the mistake of falling in love with him. So can you talk about their relationship? Yeah, I think ultimately it's love. She loves him very much, but sadly he's in a relationship with, it's a very complex one. I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Um, it's hard, but with Diane de Poitiers, who is you know, when he was a very, very little boy, handed him over to the Holy Roman Emperor and kissed him. A few years later, he's back as a very, still a young boy, and she's sleeping with him. And she decides that, you know, this Diane decides that she's going to keep him. Um, I find that relationship fascinating, almost, you know, when people, there's a, is it kind of called... Munchausen syndrome or Munchausen by proxy when people are they fall in love with their abusers or their captors so I think it's really complex that Diane was the age she was and Henry was the age he was whereas Henry and Catherine would have been in love would have been fine had it not been for Diane but that relationship for for Henry and Diane is really complex and I have my opinions as an outsider about how abusive it was and how unhealthy it was, not just because of the incredible age difference. And today we would call her a paedophile. Mm -hmm. We would, you know, but then it was survival for that character. Um, so it's, um, yeah, I find it all absolutely fascinating. Well, know? why was Catherine called the Serpent Queen? Or why is this titled the Serpent Queen? What about her is like a snake? I think, from a very early age, she's had to play the long game. She's had to be in it for the long haul, knowing that she needs to survive. But also there's something else about her that almost in a divine way that she she had a purpose, you know, and, and you know, without giving away any spoilers that go from the beginning to the end of her story or the end of her life, 
some of the things that she had to do in order to protect people and France, the country, you know, and therefore Europe, therefore the world at that time was, was really, really fascinating. Liv Hill, you play the young Catherine de' Medici and describe what circumstances she's in when we first meet her. It's not great, is it? It's not great. Um, no, we find her as a uh, orphaned child and uh, her uncle, who turns out to be the Pope of Italy, um, takes her and makes an alliance between France by marrying her uh, to he Prince Henry. Um, and pays a large dowry. And we basically find Catherine, in order to secure her place in the French court, having to go to all lengths necessary in order to produce an heir, which proves to be very difficult. So the, the drama focuses on her and how she secures her place and, and survives. Well, it's interesting early on when she's just, before she's even gone to France and she's with her uncle, Pope Clement, played by Charles Dance, you know, he, he's not very kind to her. He's not very complimentary. And he says, oh, if only you'd had your mother's looks. And then we mm. see her quietly spitting in his wine. So yes. she, she, from the beginning, she has a, definitely a spirit if you're not treating her well. So how, yeah. does that, how does that serve her as she survives in the French court? I think it's what keeps her alive. Um, she is, I, I, I think, you know, her whole life she has been emotionally and physically abused so when she does end up going to the French court it's no great surprise that these people are you know exactly the same um she's you know alert and and always wary of of people um I think that I mean it's interesting in the show because it does explore black magic as well and her relationship towards that and I remember playing the scenes the director telling me you know you totally believe that you have these special powers, that I am special. And I think had she not believed that she she was special in some way, her self-esteem would have been so low and she would have probably died a lot earlier than she did. So that is definitely what, for me, kept her alive and resilient and brave, is there was something in her worth fighting for. She, she believed in herself. The Serpent Queen premieres September 11th on Stars. For more insider videos like this, click subscribe.